Hi guys, Simusbird here, and today we're going to be making an updated version of my kill reward system in Minecraft 1.11.2. Now I've made this video before, but today we're going to be making an even better version using command blocks, which is even simpler. This time works on multiple platforms instead of just the one, and we're going to be testing it with my my friend i360 cat slap over here. It's actually me. Okay, should be quiet. All right, so how this works is it uses five command blocks in total to give you a diamond every time you press uh, or kill a, bu a person so if we take my sword here and there we go as you can see it says the kills Hermes bird one and we get a diamond here so if I just quickly go over here and respawn we can kill him again and you'll see this time the kill counter goes up and I get another diamond. Instead the kill counter is resetting back to zero after every kill, which is what happened last time. As you can see, third diamond, third kill. We can even go over here, hit the reset button, and it will reset our kills. But I'll keep the diamonds, which is three diamonds here. And it sets my kills back to one. So, let me show you how to do these command blocks. So what you're going to do is press slash to open up the command window and type in scoreboard objectives add kills and then player kill count. Make sure you have the K and the C in player kill count capitalized and you press enter and then you type in exactly the same thing. Scoreboard objectives add diamonds player kill count and press enter. And what that means is we have two objectives called diamonds and kills that go up by one every time a player gets a kill. So the first command block you're going to be placing down, you're going to open and make sure it's set to repeat and always active and type in scoreboard objectives set display display sidebar kills. Make sure you spell everything correctly and you're going to hit OK. And now what this is going to be doing is running itself instantly and setting oh I misspelled the scoreboard there. Setting the kills to the sidebar, which you can't see at the moment, but as soon as you kill a player it will sort of start showing up. So the next command blocks you're going to be placing, you need to do two for this one. And the first one's going to say slash give at p square bracket score diamonds min underscore one equals one sorry diamond and what that's going to do is it's going to give a player diamond every time it finds someone with a score bigger than zero or the minimum of one on the diamonds thing you make sure it's on repeat always active the second command block you're going to be doing this chain is going to have the command slash scoreboard players reset at p square bracket score diamonds min equals one diamonds make sure you've got capital D for both the diamonds here and you want to make sure it's on repeat always active again and that is basically it unless you want to add a reset those are the three command blocks you need as you can see I can go over here and give myself a diamonds sword and when I kill a 360 slap, it increases the kill scoreboard by one and gives me a diamond. So I can respawn him. Kill him again, I get two diamonds. Could you look at that? Just three command blocks. Now, this one is entirely optional, but you can do it if you want. This is to reset the kill scoreboard. We're going to put down two command blocks and a button on this one here. And in these two command blocks, you're going to do slash scoreboard objectives add kill ah no remove kills. And you're going to keep all the settings the same. And in the second one, you're going to make it chain always active conditional unconditional sorry. And you're going to do slash scoreboard objectives add kills player kill count and then that means when you hit this one the kill scoreboard gets reset you keep your diamonds and you can kill
player to get another diamond and increase your kills by one. Let's do that again. Come on. There you have it, two kills and four diamonds. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching. This is Thomas Bird. I hope you enjoyed this updated tutorial. Uh, goodbye.